What is up YouTube thrift school over here outside of this little, well, it's actually pretty big thrift store in this uh, town, New Milford, Connecticut. Haven't been here in a couple years, I would say. And you know what? I've never seen a delivery of these uh, donation bins. I've, ne I've never seen this before. Kind of cool. This is like where you drop off your clothes and stuff. Oh yeah. Pretty neat. Okay, let's head inside here. See what we'll find. So this thrift store was pretty cool. The prices were really cheap actually. And they had this little hidden back room with a bunch of toys and games. And here's the pricing on the wall here. $1 to $5.50. But what I really noticed is... Almost every game had a sticker on it for $2 anyways. I think there was one game in this entire area that was $5. Everything else was $1 or $2. Pretty good prices. And right off the bat here, I find this Yahtzee Mickey Mouse variant. And I've sold this lots of times, not with the same image, but lots of times in the past. As well as Mindflex. Now, this one was $4, which really is not that bad for such a massive game but it was missing some pieces, so I couldn't get it, but it is worth good money, honestly. So if you ever see Mindflex, take a look, count up the pieces if it's used. You could still sell it for like $40 to $60 used. Uh, pretty great game right there. Here's a couple games down here, a memory matching game and a Monopoly City game that I want to get, but I still have to count the pieces. I want to make sure I'm not buying games without everything I need. And I noticed this Survivor game right here. I've actually seen this game lots of times at different thrift stores, but I have never watched the show Survivor until a couple weeks ago, really. And uh, I really liked it, so I figured, hey, let me scan it in and see if it's worth anything. And holy cow, guys, take a look. I was extremely surprised to see this price pop up, $70. And then FBA is coming in at 136 crazy and it was complete so i was super happy about that one right there taking a look at the rest of the board games up here not seeing anything too too great i did scan a bunch of these but i want to move to another section of the store and see what else this place has and here's the glassware and kitchen utensils i sometimes find good things in here and i notice some wilton cake pans i have not sold wilton cake pans in such a long time I figure, you know what, let's see if they're still worth money. They're only a buck each. Let's scan them in. There's three of them here. Scooby-Doo, SpongeBob, and Elmo. And SpongeBob and Scooby-Doo were worth it. Elmo was not, sadly. So Elmo stays, and I take these two. Let's head home and see what I got. I got some goodies. Gonna make some money. So that thrift store is cash only, so we are going to stop and shop now to get cash back. Uh, they close in about 20 minutes, so I gotta be kind of quick. This is only about a two minute drive away, so it's just a shame I hate when I do this. All right, I got my pop corners. I got 50 bucks, because that's the max they let you get. Let's go. All right, we got everything in the car. They even gave me this nice uh, dense bag. So all of this came to $15 plus tax. I paid just under $16 for all of this, guys. Amazing deals. Uh, I believe I went over a lot of it in the store, but if I didn't, we're gonna do a recap right now. We are back at the house with all of the goodies from that thrift store, that uh, no-name brand thrift store. <laughs> not a Goodwill, not a Savers. I believe it was called Thrift Mart. Pretty good stuff in there, pretty good prices. I showed you guys, I paid like under $16 for all of this. Let's get started. This categories, it's a shame the box is in such rough condition. I knew this was worth money the second I saw it. This version of the game, I've, I've even said it before on my YouTube channel, this is the version to look out for. This is the version that I own and I play. It is the better version. I'll show you guys. You open it up, the instructions are right on top, and all the little game boards are in here. And take a look at this. It is still brand new sealed inside. This is awesome. It doesn't get any better than that. Now, you could tell this is the valuable version because of the timer. It's an actual electronic timer. 
Uh, it's on like a wind and you press it and then it dings or buzzes when the time is up. The newer versions have a little hourglass and they're just not that valuable. This one, it's a shame the box isn't sealed, but I can wipe it down because a lot of these stains on here are like surface stains, so a lot of them should come off. But again, the box isn't in the best of conditions, so still gonna have to sell it used with brand new contents inside. Awesome find there. Keep an eye out for this version of Scattergories. This also was something that I've never sold before, but it was really big. It was really interesting. I scanned it in, and this happens a lot on Amazon, guys. You scan something in. Oh, I just dropped something. Oh, that was just a dime. Uh, you scan it in, and nothing comes up on Amazon. So what I do is I take a picture with the Amazon Seller app. You could just scan the image, and the actual listing usually pops up. So I found the actual listing. This thing's selling for like $80. Awesome value here. I counted all the pieces. It is complete. So that is great. It's very clean on the inside. It's very clean on the outside too. So this is a great score. I will be keeping my eyes out open for this. Now into the bag. So I actually found things other than board games, which is has been a rare occurrence lately. But I used to sell these Wilton cake pans all the time. I haven't been finding them much lately, but I got lucky and I found two. Um, so how I sell, how I ship these, I literally just put a big poly bag over them, a clear poly bag, and ship them into Amazon like that. Just, you know, the pan with a clear poly bag over it and ship it in. I don't bubble wrap it, I don't do anything, and I don't think I have ever had a return in my seven years selling these. So it works, you don't have to be super careful with these things. Um, if you're shipping them yourself, because I'll be sending these into Amazon FBA, if you're shipping them yourself, then maybe you want to like bubble wrap them, put them in a box, be a little more careful with them. But this Scooby-Doo one right here is selling for pretty good money, as you guys can see. And this SpongeBob one is also selling for decent money. Not as much, but still some pretty good money. Moving into the bag here, and I knew this was going to be worth money. And guys, I'm trying to give you these bolos and things to look out for because I'm finding them multiple times when I go out, right? This is just something that I see often, but not this variant. So this variant is a Mickey Mouse Yahtzee. Yeah, I see that all the time, but this artwork is different because this came out a different year. Everything on the inside is the same, but because this came out in like 1988, I think, uh, it doesn't say on here, but the Amazon listing I believe was 1988, the value of this is worth more than the one that came out in like 1986 and 1991. I don't know why, it's just the one that people have more nostalgia for, I guess. So it sells really well. Next, memory matching games. I love buying and selling these because there's usually only 36 cards to count. Super quick, super easy. There are 36 cards in here and they've kind of gone all over the place and that little uh, holder for them should be in there and it is. And you know, I paid like a buck or two, I think like two bucks per game, so it wasn't bad. And uh, these guys go for usually around 15 to 20 bucks. So keep an eye out for memory matching games. This right here, I didn't count all the pieces, but I did open it up and take a look and it seemed to be in good shape. It's kind of gotten all over the place now since it traveled in the car, but it, everything was pretty organized in here. I counted like the buildings to make sure they were in here and they were, so I'm pretty sure it's complete. I was noticing at this thrift store, if a board game had this kind of um, masking tape or scotch tape or whatever this would be on the games, they were complete and counted. So those games, I, I was just noticing a trend, so. Pretty cool there. Um, I think I showed the price pretty good. Um, I just gotta make sure it is complete before I send it into Amazon. And the last game really surprised me. I see this game kind of often and it never used to be worth this much money. I've found this game multiple times over the years and never picked it up because it wasn't worth it. It's selling for like $80 now. It's complete. There are a lot of pieces to count in here. I think it says on the back. Look at all these pieces I had to count. The island tray, two movers, eight movers, eight cards, 35 item cards, and 168 game cards, plus three other little pieces. The 168 game cards did take a little while to count, make sure everything's in here. Sometimes, I'm lucky I didn't do it this time, sometimes I'll count like 167 and be like, oh, I'm one short. But then I count it again to double check, and I just overlooked one, they got stuck together or something, that happens a lot. 
That's why I hate counting anything over 100 cards because sometimes they get stuck together and you got to count twice anyways to double check. So I'm still happy selling for great money. I think this was an awesome haul. I hope to be finding things other than board games in the near future because all I've been finding is these and I, I love selling them, don't get me wrong, but I, I like finding other things as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.